What's Gucci everybody, it's AJ here again and welcome to my 100th 50th video extravaganza. Nothing special, I just noticed on YouTube that this would be my 100th 50th up upload and I hope since I've done the first video, I've gotten a lot better. I've gotten a new microphone so that's nice. But in this video, I'm going to be covering something kind of a little bit more advanced in Python and that is Lambda Expressions. Now, a lam now to begin learning about lambda expressions first you know we remember the method and how you can define a method and i can say you know method and then i can give it parameters param1 and then i can say you know print param print param and then that's my method well as you can see here my method has a name or you can call it a method or a function and i named it method i can also name it f or fun for friends F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for uranium bombs, and yeah, N is for any time and anywhere at all. Down here in the deep blue sea. But what, sorry, I just got sidetracked by SpongeBob because I love him. What Lambda expressions do is they allow you to essentially make an anonymous function. So instead of a function like there where it had a name, th what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use the keyword Lambda, spelled L-A-M-B-D-A, -A -A, the, the B is kind of silent. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give it an anonymous function. So I'm going to say lambda, and then I'm, now I'm going to list my parameters. So I'm going to say num1, comma, num2. And these parameters, these are the parameters of my lambda function. And I'll show, if you guys aren't understanding it right now, just wait a second and it will come clear. It's no, lambda function is known as an anonymous function because it has no name. I list my parameters with a comma separated, and then I put a colon. And now I do... I can perform the operations of my lambda function. So I'm gonna make a simple sum function. So what I'm doing here is I'm using the keyword lambda and I'm saying I take two parameters and I simply add those two parameters together. Sorry about the brown again, I need to change that. And so now what I'm doing here is I'm assigning a function, I'm creating a function, I'm not naming it anything, but then I'm assigning it to add. I'm just gonna give it to this add variable. And what is what's doing is add is now looking at this function. It now kind of has a mapping to this function so it knows what to do. So for instance, if I was gonna go to print and then say add, and then if I said three comma four, well, and I run it, I'm gonna get seven, as you see here. I'll run, I'll run it, and if I ran it with six, hopefully I would get nine if I ran it again. Oops, I'd get nine if I ran it again. And so with, with Lambda, I'm creating an anonymous function and I'm mapping, I'm creating a mapping of what I want each input to do. So I'm gonna take the first two inputs and sum them together and return that. So that's a pretty basic way for a Lambda function to happen. Really, you, would, you wouldn't do, it, do anything like this because simply you're just adding two numbers, but it can be pretty cool for some extensive stuff. Let me, end, I'm gonna end, you, end with an example on that. So let's say there is another really great thing to do in Python called the map function. And it takes a function in the parameters. It's going to take a function in the parameter and an iterable and applies that function to all the liter iterables. And what I mean by iterable is something you can use a for loop or while loop through. So a list or a string, ideally. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you an example. That's why I'm here. I'm going to do result equals map and then I'm gonna have a lambda function because map as I told you the first parameter is a function now I could give it I could define a function you know like def func and pass that in as a parameter just like it's a variable I could just pass in the method name or I could pass in lambda just like I showed you lambda and then list the parameters x and then when I'm done listing the parameters a colon and then what am I gonna do with the parameters I'm going to square it and x will automatically be returned oh Something I forgot to mention with lambda functions is that the body of a lambda expression can only contain a single line. So like my last example and this example, you can only have one line of a lambda function. So that means if the line's complicated, it's just gonna be one big line. And then the result is automatically returned. So this, the one line will automatically be returned. So I know I will get x squared. So now I'm gonna do my comma, since I gave it the function, and now I'm gonna give it a list. I'm gonna give it one, two, four, 99. And so that's pretty cool. And then I'm gonna print result. 
And what's going to happen? I'm going to print results. And what that did is it actually returned a generator object for me. And so what I need to do is return is to cast this to a list. And when I cast it to a list, I will get something pretty cool. Map returns to me a generator object, which we haven't gone over. It just means that it's it's looking at the list in a different way, really. And so since now, but but to get it from that generator to a list, I need to cast it. And as you can see here, I successfully squared the list without looping through it, or the looping was done for me, and changed every element in the list. So I went, I did one, four, sixteen, and 99 squared 9801 so as you can see that was a really quick way to change everything in the list and iterate through it you know much much less typing than a for loop which is pretty gnarly i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm thinking about making ruby tutorials i don't know if you know my python videos not many of my videos get many views at all but i do like doing this and so if any of you guys like doing this or want to see anything please tell me i'm open to anything i'm open to helping people that's why i make these videos i was inspired by the new boston who if you haven't checked any of his videos they're far more extensive he's done like every language ever i was trying to do something he hadn't done and there was nothing he hadn't done he, he's a master he is he's the man um i think he has a full-time job now so he doesn't make any more videos but uh, i learned programming from him so i love him and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this map function. And like and subscribe if you want to see more Lambda expression videos. There are a few other nice Lambda expressions. But I will continue with classes in the next video. I'll see you guys later.